Hey, it's Happy Friday! So, for dinner tonight, we are trying out this restaurant in Alston. So, for starter, I ordered beef skewer, $2.50 each. I would say the meat is very well marinated. I really love the taste of the cumin. And let's share one with five, of course. I ordered also a spicy cumin lamb burger. In Chinese, we named it Rou Jia Mo. So to me, this, the lamb is not that spicy, but it tastes really good as well. I ordered also a beef noodle soup, which is their signature. Yep, thank you for the spoon. Let's try the noodle. So the texture is really chewy, which is to my liking. And the soup broth is also very good. Yeah, I like it very much as well. So after dinner, we walk around Alston area and it's time for supper. We are here at this uh, kimchi poppy kitchen to get a Korean potato corn dog. I have been constantly craving for potato corn dog since I tried it the first time in New York. Too bad they didn't have the half sausage and half mozzarella combo here, but it's good enough to fix my craving. The sausage is also very juicy as you can see. Hey, happy Sunday! So we are now at the H Mart food cart seeking for some good lunch. For myself, I ordered a spicy miso ramen and for Fai, he ordered a pork katsu curry. So after lunch, we just walk around Cambridge Central Square enjoying the nice buildings and architecture around. And actually today we planned to visit the Harvard University. We are still thinking whether to take the subway or walk over. So we actually decided to walk over to Harvard University as it takes only 13 minutes from Hitchmark Cambridge to the Harvard University. Let's go! So after a while of walking, I think it's good time to grab a bubble milk tea. I think I would opt for a normal Kung Fu milk tea with bubble of course. Yeah.
So we are walking towards the Edinburgh Hall. I heard the dining hall inside is very nice. It's like the Harry Potter dining hall. Unfortunately, we can't enter. Yeah, hopefully next time we'll get someone that we know from Harvard University to bring us in. Look at this beautifully constructed hall. I love the red bricks and also the architecture. It's just simply fantastic. She learned to find the hidden beauty. It's got me a dick. So we just walk around the Harvard Square and looking for a coffee shop or cafe to sit down and relax a bit. So it's either Starbucks coffee or something else. Okay, we decided to give it a try in this milk bar cafe. The location is very strategic, it's right in the middle of Harvard Square. So I ordered a strawberry shortcake soft serve with the toppings conflicts. I actually got a surprise with the taste or flavor of this soft serve ice cream. But it is a pleasant surprise, yeah. The salt of the conflicts match perfectly with the soft serve and also I'm enjoying the view outside the Harvard Square perfect afternoon wanna be side by side I wanna be side by side do you wanna be side by side? Side by side. Okay, after the enjoyable tea time, let's walk around the Harvard Square. Enjoy all the beautiful architecture around. Look at this hotel. It's so cool, isn't it? Uh, they even have Mike's pastry here. On a day in May. So we took the old car, drove it far. 
I love this cute little alley with a lot of different shops. Time passes really fast, it's almost time for dinner. So one last stop for us before dinner is to visit this Vicks footbridge. I heard that this footbridge here is best for sunrise or sunset and it is actually a pedestrian bridge over the Charles River. Look at these two Kaya. I salute them. They are able to Kaya until so far. I don't think we are able to catch the sunset today, but I tried to Google the sunset picture. It is really beautiful. Anyway, it is still an enjoyable Sunday in Harvard Square. And we are finally back in Central Square for dinner. For today's dinner is Happy Lamb Hot Pot again, which is one of my favorite. I really love hot pot, if you can tell from my previous videos. Whenever we visit Happy Lamb, we will always order this beef and lamb combo. I love their lamb scoovers as well. Full after the dinner, it's time to go home, but still thinking very seriously whether I should get a dessert. And then I pass by this new city micro creamery which I couldn't resist and I entered in the end. Thank you. Mm.